What up, everybody? Welcome to part two of Shaving Lenny. So, we're gonna do some juggling shit right here. As 47 was a circus juggler at some point in his life. Uh, so, chuck hammer over here. Sneak up here real quick, get this bottle. What the hell was that? Go see. Chuck it over here real quick, get this guard's attention. They'll both leave. We'll go back to checking out the original sign, the other one will go into the room. Super motherfucking ninja style quick. Grab that wrench, fix this pipe. Hit the power here. And hi. Boom. I don't know. Probably a cat or a bird or something. I don't know. Ain't nothing here. And just chill out here till this dude takes off. Then we're gonna ninja up the wall here. Super quick, because they can see you pretty early. Now, this room, I always get caught in. So I always got to really make sure before I jump in there. Seems to me either I get here and there's a dude already in the room, or I jump in the window and a dude's coming in the room. So I just really should have went already, instead of sitting here going on about it. So anyway, I jump through the window, check this shit. I probably shouldn't swear so much. I apologize. Uh, wait here for this guy. So I've noticed with this one, they really, really try a whole lot harder than they did in the previous games to force you into using disguises. Like some of these levels, there are some levels in this game I just legit cannot complete suit only. Sometime before the exit, I have to take a disguise, but... Luckily, this one isn't one of them. This is a really fun mission, too. I think it's actually a lot funner. More fun, I should say. On purest difficulty than it is any of the lower ones. More, of a, Much more of a challenge. So, should be the patrolling guard next. Yep, there he is. Get him... And if we time this right, we'll also be able to get the game. Well, the first one just peed on the... He just was done the electric fence. Don't lose on the electric fence. Go to sleep. So yeah, we're going to go stash this guy. Pick the wrench back up. If we time this right, we go back to that door, chuck this wrench one more time, we should get our next target. Which will eliminate all of our targets, then all I have to do is clean up these bodies and get Lenny. One of my favorite missions is coming up. I love Attack of the Saints. I hated doing Angel Death, and I had to do it twice because my save file corrupted before they released that patch. Get out of here. Go to sleep. So, I, and I wanted to have his, all the challenges completed to get the max buffer on Pyrrhus. So, of course, I had to go and do Angel of Death Part 2 again. Which sucked. But other than that, that was still my favorite mission in this game. Vivica Fox is the uh, main saint. She's really awesome. Yeah, I mentioned Powers Booth earlier. I also forgot to talk about Keith Carradine, David Carradine's brother. He's Dexter. Uh, Tracy Lords is Dexter's girlfriend or whatever. And uh, there's a couple other people I know in here. One of the guys from Taken is uh, Sheriff Skirky. So there's some really cool names in here, but it doesn't matter to me who's in it if David Bateson isn't 47. So at this point, we've stashed as many of the bodies as we can. We've moved the one that we can't stash, so we got to wait for Lenny. We're going to nab him and get out of here. Oh, 
All right, so now Lenny's on his way, so we gotta chuck this wrench. And hide here and wait for him. That's why we had to move that other body so that Lenny doesn't see it. He comes to check this sound. Oh, you're kidding me. Of course, he turned his back the wrong way, so now we gotta wait for him to turn around. Luckily, he's a gimp, so he can't walk very fast. Alright, so I'm gonna take him out. Go to sleep. And then we're just gonna drag him into the barbershop and get out of here. Uh, unfortunately, because of the 15 minute restriction that YouTube hit me with, I did record End of the Road as a separate video rather than just attaching it to another video. But hey, at least you get to watch that. It's pretty funny.